Excuse me? Are you also waiting to be received by the Lago family? I was told this was their manner, but... <gasps> it's you! Keep your voice down, there's guards everywhere. We're leagues away from the capital. What are you doing in an oasis? What do you want with the Lago family? I asked you first. Oh, you got here first? Very mature. Oh, you're here to meet a suitor? That's bullshit. No one wants to marry you. I don't know what kind of grift you have in mind for these people, but you better let it go. I have important business here. And I'm telling you to give it up. As a favor. Why? Because the noble family living here is serious and powerful. They'll get angry if you show up uninvited. Uh, well, yes, I'm uninvited as well, but it's different. I need their help. Is it a druid thing I need their help with? N no, it's a diplomatic thing. But it's for a good cause and I don't have the time or the crayons to explain it to you. Oh, you'd love to help me, but I'm a total bitch. You set our grove on fire. You were supposed to catch that arsonist. And you didn't. <sighs> that tree that burned down was worth ten of you. And I'm not going to forgive you for it. No, sniping your bounties doesn't make us even. Besides, what was I supposed to do? I was already a bear when he ran up to me. I'll take money from you any day. You took an ancestral tree. <laughs> no, you didn't light it on fire yourself. But you let the person who did get away and... They're dead, so I'm blaming you. Deal with it. If there weren't guards here, you have no idea what I would do to you. Oh yeah, we'll see. The Lago family is serious, but everyone says they're twisted. You better hope they're not really your suitors. You have such an ego on you. I'd love to see you get taken down a peg. I'm sorry, Leaf Licker? You cancerous discharge of a human. Next time I see you. Oh, um, hello. Good morning. I'm here to speak with... No, I don't have an appointment. It's very urgent, though. Please. Please, I... You're letting the rogue go inside? You're making a mistake. 
Please, I just need a moment of your time. I... You are visiting an oasis city at the edge of the Empire to meet with one of your suitors. You know her name is Kona, and you've seen her portrait. A delicate woman with wide eyes and copper hair. Her family, the noble house of Lago, is powerful and wealthy, and your family has encouraged you to make this match work. Seeing your longtime enemy at their door was strange, but ultimately satisfying. Still, as you're led through the manor towards a back garden to meet Kona for the first time, her words linger in your head. Then the doors to the garden open, and you see Kona waiting for you, looking exactly as her portrait did. There you are. Oh, thank you for making the trip. I'm so glad we finally got to meet face to face. N no, no, don't sit down. Let me hug you. I wore a lace dress just for you. Mm. Look at me. Oh, you have clear eyes and an honest face. The mirrors are going to love you, I can tell. Oh, are you blushing? Well, you better have a seat then. Tea? Cookie? I read all of your letters twice. They're so exciting. I have heard the noble families close to the Empress have a strong sense of civic duty. But your family? They apprehend dangerous criminals. Oh, that's a dangerously admirable way to be responsible towards the commoners. I'm sorry, I just rambled a lot there. I should ask you a question. Has your skin ever been hurt? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have any of that after we're married. I need to keep those eyes of yours clear and bright. Oh, I move too quickly. Let me come and sit beside you. I want to look more at my intended. Do you have a kiss for me? It's too soon. I'm sorry, I just... You're very good looking. I was hoping... <laughs> I don't mean to tease you when I say you're my future spouse. Oh, we've already negotiated for your dowry. Your family was very happy with our offer. Y 
here. They sent a letter ahead of you saying so. An uneasy feeling creeps up your neck, and your stomach circles itself between sips of bitter tea. The letter she hands you is a forgery. A good one, but your rogue's eye is too well trained, and you're too familiar with how your family writes. It's too pushy, too certain, and if you're being honest, the dowry is too low. The tea seems to curdle in your stomach, and the unease won't leave you. Something deep within your mind screams at you to flee, and you rise from your chair, quickly, too quickly. Oh, your tea! Don't worry, the orchids will drink it. What's wrong? But you have a room here. We already got your bags from the inn. Did you want to lay down? Is the weather not agreeing with you? You forgot you have business. But what could possibly be more important than... Wait! You run through the manor like hell is on your heels, dodging the ornate furniture with graceful agility. Throwing open the doors and barreling out onto the street. Your departure so sudden you cannot even hear the sounds of any pursuers. But the guards stop you. As you begin to explain yourself, two more join. And then another two. Soon you are surrounded. Your druid foe was right. The city is swarming with them. They demand you return to the manor. And when you resist, you are rendered unconscious. You wake, shackled to a wall, in a room that feels underground. You can hear the trickle of water nearby. And you're shocked when a single black cat walks into view, looking at you as if it were the warden. You blink, and before you stands your druid. Rose Pine Shadow is tall and lovely. You can admit her green eyes are beautiful, but you've only ever seen them narrowed at you in naked hatred. However, now... She approaches you, gloating and grinning. 